So it's been really a great honor to welcome Stephanie Mills to soulmusic.com. Uh, I really enjoyed being in the studio with um, and to me and Lucas because I could be in the studio with them alone, you know, and, and my parents back then rarely left me alone, but I could be in the studio with them and we could be creative and mm. I really enjoyed that time. And I, and I, and I was young, I was 17, 18, because I think at that time, Michael and I were friends, and we were kind of sort of dating, you know. Okay, and of course you're referring to Michael Jackson. Just for yeah. those who who may not, who may be wondering who the Michael is. Right? Who the Michael is? I'm yeah. referring to Michael. I gotcha. Jackson. You just mentioned something that's really important, which uh, of course you know is that, that at that time, you know, working with uh, M. Tume and Lucas was a, a whole new world for you. Obviously, before that, as I know you, as we all know, you were on Broadway, not only mm-hmm. in The Wiz, but before that, Maggie Flynn and. And then as had been recording for Motown, so I'm sure it was quite a different environment and a different feeling to yes. a feeling of freedom, I would imagine. Yes, it was definitely a, a sense of freedom. I was like, oh, yes, I could be in the studio with the guys and yeah. not have, you know, everybody around. So it was really, a, um, I felt like a, a grown-up that I was, you know, growing up a little bit. So yeah, I enjoyed absolutely. really being in it. And, and, and then man and Lucas... And, and and they really took care of me. You know, yeah. I, I I really enjoyed being in the studio with them. Okay. Now, this song was the very first song that Entume and and she uh, presented to me, and it it was the hardest song for them to get me to record because I was like, I can't sing that. What you're gonna do with my love? And I can't sing that. So they really had to convince me to sing it, and they had to change some of the words. But really? I really, yeah, I really. Loved I, and I love singing it to this day. I really loved recording it and being in the studio because we, the thing with Reggie and 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 and, and Tumi is that all our songs were done live with live yeah. band. Their yeah, band was in the yeah. studio and I would be in a booth and there, and we. So I really enjoyed that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm curious because you mentioned, of course, you know about you know your parents. How did they react to the lyrics of the song? You, you don't have to be a, a rocket scientist to, to know what somebody's singing about. <laughs> exactly, but they they I was the one who had the problem with it. My parents or my sister or my brothers didn't have a problem with it. Really? Wow. Yeah, I was the one that was like, oh my god, I you know I don't know if I want to say that. I don't want to say this or say that. But they would accommodate. They would change. And then as we matured that, they were like, oh, we can't believe you want to sing this song. So it was <laughs> they kind of all evolved into, and I was like, oh, yeah, I want to do this. Now I want to sing this. I want, so it was interesting. I never, no, no, you love it. 